Howdy howdy ladies and gentlemen, my name is Admin, welcome to a tutorial for how to install my data packs. My data packs are a little bit different to install than the normal ones, and so we're going to be looking at all of the different things that you need to know in order to install them correctly. Okay, so step one is to create a world that you want to install the data packs in. And I've already done that as you can see. Next, go to my website and pick out the data packs that you want to install. For today's tutorial, we're going to be installing more swords, bows, and pearls. You'll want to go to the download page for all three of these, and then click the download button for each data pack. And it should get download started for each of them. However, we're not done yet. We still need to download the required library and required resource pack. Every one of my pages will have a link to both of them. You only will need one of the library and one of the resource pack. So download those from the website and you should be good on that front. Whenever you're downloading any of my data packs, make sure that you always have the latest library installed and the latest resource pack installed. When getting a new pack, you will likely need to update the library or resource pack or both when doing so. To do this, you would simply download it again from their respective pages and delete the old one and replace the files with the new version. And again, you only need one resource pack and one library no matter how many data packs you are installing of mine. So let's actually install them. You can right click on any of these files to do show in folder and that will show you your downloads folder most likely and all of the things that we downloaded. From here, you can press Control X to cut the files, and then in the search bar up here, type percent app data percent. Hit enter, that will take you to .minecraft. Open .minecraft, go to your saves folder, that's the saves folder, and then find your world that you're looking to install the data packs into. In this case, I called the world install data pack, and so you're now in the worlds folder and you want to go to the data packs page. Open this up, paste all of your files in here with control V, and now you have all of the data packs installed. However, the resource pack does not go in here. The resource pack needs to go into your resource packs folder. So back out to .minecraft, and again, you can get there by typing percent app data percent, or you could even do that in game. You could go options, resource pack, open resource pack folder. That will take you to this folder here and you can paste the resource pack into here. You can see I have an old version in here as well as some other uh, data, uh, resource packs that I used to use. All right, so back in Minecraft, if we go to options, resource packs, you should see that the WAS resource pack shows up here with my face and everything. You can select it and then press done. This will reload the textures in the game and now you have the resource pack installed. Now in your world, you can type slash reload and hit enter, and you'll see that this will load. You can see that there is a warning in chat saying that uh, more swords and more bows need more diamonds to be installed for some of the recipes. So you can click here, open the link, and then download this, and uh, download the data pack. And again, we can show this in the folder once it is done downloading. Uh, and so that will bring up the folder and then we can go back to our .minecraft and go to the saves, paste it into here, and we should be good to go. So if we type slash reload again, you'll see that now everything is happy. We can confirm that the data packs are installed by typing slash data pack list, hitting enter, and you'll see this will give me a list of all of the packs that are installed. So we have more bows, the library, pearls and the swords and the diamonds. Now, a couple important notes about data packs. They cannot have items show up in your creative menu. So if we search for sword, we're not gonna see any of the special swords added by more swords or bow. We're not gonna find any of the more bows. To obtain these items, you are going to need to craft them or get them via a command such as function was bows give items. This will give you all of the bows in the pack. And every pack that I've made has a similar function to give yourself the items. All right, so as for the actual recipes for the packs, 
You can find those by pressing L to bring up your advancements menu, and you'll see that all of the recipes for the data packs will show up in-game. However, more swords and more bows, recipes will not show up in-game. You will need to go back to the website and go to their respective pages, scroll down to the bottom to find all of the recipes. You can also support me on Patreon for one or more dollars a month and gain access to the in-game recipes of these data packs. Click the i-card in the top right if that is something of interest to you. However, you can see that one recipe, regardless of your patronage status, will show up in-game. And that is the crafter, the sword crafter, or the bow crafter, or also like there's an ender crafter and a diamond crafter. So, obviously we're going to need these. And it is worth noting, not all of my data packs do require a crafter. For example, more helmets and more boots can be made in the custom crafter. And you can figure that out by realizing that there's no uh, like sword crafter or ender crafter for these packs if you press L. So do bring up these advancements, do check if the actual data pack that you are wanting to make the items of has a crafter. If it does not, use the custom crafter. So if we need a custom crafter to get some of the recipes, how exactly do we make the custom crafter? Well, to do that, we need to, in a regular vanilla crafting table, place a crafting table in the middle, five cobble on the top, and three on the bottom. And you'll see a recipe book or a knowledge book will show up in our inventory. We can click on this and exit our inventory and we will have the custom crafter. You can place this down as a block into the world and it will face towards you like any other crafter in my data packs. And of course you can also break these and pick them back up if you are so inclined to do so. So then to use this, you would just place the recipe into the actual grid and it would spit out the item as you would expect. So. Uh, if you find the actual recipe, say like for these slime boots, once you find the actual recipe you want to do, you can see this is the actual recipe. So follow this exactly as shown. So the slime balls are in the middle row and then the slime blocks are on the bottom. And I'll show exactly why. If we place it in this configuration, it's not going to work. We're going to need to follow it exactly as shown. And once we do that, it will spit out the actual item. So then if we bring up the actual recipes of the other crafters that we're going to need to use to craft the other items from the data packs, you can see that they show up right here and you can follow this exactly in a custom crafter or make it in a regular crafting table. So the sword crafter can be made in a regular crafting table. And so that's oak planks in the corner, iron on the top, crafting table in the middle. And again, like the custom crafter, you would get the knowledge book and if you click on this, it would go into your inventory. But we can also do the same thing if we want to in the custom crafter. And you'll see that the recipe will also get made in here. So now we have a sword crafter. Either method works, whichever you wanna use, go for it. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, you will need to make whatever swords you wanna craft in the sword crafter, just like you need to make whatever pearls or bows you want in their respective crafters. You can see if we try the uh, magma sword, in a custom crafter, it's not going to work. We can do that in the sword crafter though, and we'll get a magma sword. All right, that should be a pretty good explanation for how to install the data packs. However, sometimes there are some other issues with compatibility with other data packs, or maybe you're making a mistake somewhere else. So make sure to join our Discord that it will be linked in the video's description if you are running into issues that you do not seem to be able to solve. When doing so, please make sure to give as specific of uh, information as possible. So tell them what game version you're in, what other data packs you have installed. It is best to send a screenshot of the data pack list command. So just press F2, take a screenshot and uh, send this file in the chat when asking for help. That will help our moderators or myself to be able to help you as quickly and as easily as possible. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So enjoy playing with my data packs. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out on future data packs coming to this channel. And I'll see you all in the very next video. So thanks for watching.